Ladies and gentlemen, this is Transit in Black Ops 3. This is an exclusive first peek look of the diner survival gameplay and how far you can go out. And I absolutely love the ambience that we're set in here. These kind of dark, mysterious caves, the rain ambience. It really reminds me of games such as The Forest. And I feel like for Transit, it works perfectly. I got an extra 250 points here and I mean just look at this you feel so immersed while playing this and I love it man I love that the zombies are coming out way farther in and because this is the transit system if you guys have seen Verko's video we will be master pack punching a couple of weapons I don't want to show off too many but I will be showing off the M1911 and my first big mystery box from the purple mystery box here being the XM4 and uh, it's so cool because somebody in my comment section actually suggested that each of the areas should have a different mystery box light and I thought that was a really really cool idea because if that would have been the case I feel like people would have really really gravitated towards understanding the map layout much faster and also much more quickly and here you can see obviously I am in the diner you have all of the original perks here being Jug, Double Tap, and Speed Cola. I don't think this is Quick Revive, but there is a Wonder Fizz on this map right here. There was supposed to be the Galva Knuckles, but I'm assuming just because this is early footage and early gameplay that there will not be just quite yet. But man, oh man, this is looking to be incredible. And people have always asked me, what are the order that the Zombies Chronicles 2 maps are going to release? And obviously, the order is probably going to be Transit, and then Die Rise, and then Buried. It might even be exactly how they release back in BO2. But I really do believe either me and Dobby's version of Die Rise Remastered will come first, or Virko's Transit. Because as you can see with the gameplay here, a lot of this looks just already incredible now let me go and switch up a lot of the footage here to show you guys how it looks like when you get towards the pack punch and also it's cool because this map does have gobblegum right as you can see here i actually do have Newtonian gation on this is just a whimsical gobblegum and the way that gobblegum works in this map is it's fully random so it doesn't matter what you set in your pack it will just choose whatever gobblegum maybe that will change later on we'll have to see but as you can see here i have the xm4 upgraded with the damascus steel pack bunch camel and i love the way that the pack bunch system works in this if you don't know essentially it's 5,000 for your normal pack bunch to the damascus steel camel after that, you can do 20,000 to master your weapon. And as you can see here, I have the Mustang and Sally's upgraded with the turned effect on. And so that is the ability for the Mustang and Sally's, which is really cool. And uh, it, it's just something that is such a nice touch because it adds that BO3 level of optimization while keeping it as simplistic as Black Ops 2. And I think it is the perfect avenue. And we are kind of modeling our Die Rise pack bunch system after Virgo's. Virgo's has a mastery system, but ours will be the regular BO3 system. However, the camels will change when you get a different alternate ammo type. Now, I know that Treyarch did not have this, but I think it's really cool to have this because we have added a, an exclusive fireworks camo, an exclusive dead wire, blast furnace, thunder wall, and so it is so cool to see that this is how it is. And honestly, I'm so excited to show you guys the rest of the survival maps. But as you guys know, with Transit, he will be adding a farm uh, survival map that I probably will put up some gameplay soon. Uh, here is the diner. He also has bus depot. And he is going to be adding the bridge in town. I don't believe he will be doing town itself, though. Uh, just because you can play the actual transit remastered so Virko is deciding to do smaller sections of his map whereas for die rise we will not be doing any smaller sections of the survival maps but maybe for Virko's buried he will be able to do so and so it is just so beautiful the lighting 
and all the ambience that Verko has got into this version of Transit. And honestly, this redeems the versions of Transit's name to me because, listen, Jimmy Zielinski was so ahead of his time, the creator of Black Ops 2 Zombies, when he was thinking about this. He just was not able to use it on the Xbox 360 hardware. All of his incredible, chaotic ideas for Transit, now we can finally actually have and put into Black Ops 3. And ladies and gentlemen, I do have an exciting announcement. Somebody actually hit me up on Discord saying that he personally knows Jimmy Zielinski. And so I might actually be able to have an exclusive interview with you guys for Jimmy Zielinski. And so if you guys are curious to see or ask him any questions about his Victus maps, Transit Die Rise or Buried, or his time working now at X Defiant for Ubisoft because he is a Ubisoft developer, let me know because I for sure will be asking him if he's planning to make a new PvE mode on X Defiant. As most of you guys already know, here is the master system as well. I love how fast it is. And this one gets fireworks. And look at the camo. And the spray on this is so beautiful. Uh, but with Jimmy Zielinski, my hope is that he makes a PvE mode because of the fact that Deviation Games, unfortunately, has been cancelled. I know they haven't really officially announced it, but Glitching Queen has made a video about it, and it doesn't really seem like Deviation Games will be ending up making a game. Sony does this thing a lot of the times where they hire a lot of studios as a prototype and then never really end up finishing the product just because and um it seems like sony has unfortunately done this to deviation games and i mean my heart can only imagine the amount of pain that people like blundell and jc backfire are fe feeling for that because seriously that is something drastic uh, especially out of the middle of nowhere when the whole community for call of duty zombies was extremely passionate and extremely excited about it uh, but unfortunately there's nothing that has really happened or transpired to see that there is a new game coming out so honestly i don't know but uh we'll have to just wait and see and if jimmy Zelinsky, the creator of original world at war to black ops 2 is actually going to be creating uh a new zombies mode or a new pve mode i would absolutely love to see it because contrary to a lot a lot of people think blundell did an incredible job carrying the zombies title but jimmy Zelinsky really innovated it he was really the brains i feel like behind a lot of the creation and uh, it'll be very interesting to see what exactly happens. And it's so cool because, look, I'm about to down here, but it also activates fireworks, which is why I'm able to save myself. Grab the PhD. The perk bottles are just so beautiful. And so, again, Verko, a massive shout-out to you for creating these survival maps. I think this is a really awesome way to get more people excited to play these versions of transit and this is such a beautiful map because uh, it's no lava there's no screaming there's no dying this is transit before the events of moon calm peaceful underwater and a nice ambience ladies and gentlemen it's been an absolute pleasure i did hope you guys enjoyed if you did let me know if you guys want me know or want me to play more of the transit remastered survival maps coming up for you guys until this map releases hopefully by the end of this year or maybe into next year we'll see but the rise and mob dead also coming soon thank you again so much ladies and gentlemen and i'll see y'all in my next one baby